Hello and welcome to Nanum Quick Tips. Today we're going to be talking about some quick tips to get you started with Nanum. Uh, we've gotten a lot of requests about how to import small molecules uh, from PubChem and DrugBank, and so I'm going to be showing you some examples today. So first off, we're going to have to create a room and go into Start in VR. And so when you go into a room, what you're going to see is the loading menu. Now you can close this out, and if you lose it, you can always go to load, and uh, you'll be seeing this menu. And you can go into the featured molecules, which allows you to load, uh, you know, anything from macromolecules to graphene to to as something as simple as a as a benzene ring. Click on load, go to database, and now I see these three different databases: RCSB, DrugBank, and PubChem. Both PubChem and DrugBank are databases that we require you to have a plus account for. So from DrugBank, let's say I want to load a Tylenol molecule. Uh, this is actually an example. So you can type in DB003167. And then click on Enter. And then click on Load. And then I have a Tylenol molecule. And keep in mind, all the new molecules get spawned on top of the central hexagon. So now I have this Tylenol molecule. And so the way that you want to, if you want to look up a certain chemical, like glucose, let's say, I think PubChem would be better. So I'm going to be switching over to my desktop. And you can use Oculus Dash uh, for this if you want to. Uh, but for those who don't have Oculus Dash, um, we can just uh, we're going to switch over to the desktop to show you how to search a molecule on PubChem or DrugBank. All right, so the first thing you want to do is search for PubChem using your browser. And it's pretty much the first Google search, so you could definitely use that. And you can just search for any compound. So in this case, we're going to be searching for glucose. There's a bunch of different results that pop up, but the, the most basic one is a D-glucose which is C6H12O6. So if we go to the Wikipedia page, you can also see uh, that the molecular formula C6H12O6, um, for those of you who know, that is uh, the simple sugar formula. And uh, if we go to back to pub PubChem, uh, you can see the, the ID that's associated with that. So this is also the same for drug bank. So if we search for drug bank, uh, it's actually just drugbank.ca, and if we just click on that, uh, then you can search uh, for uh, a compound uh, for drug. So let's say that we're looking for Tylenol. Uh, then it's going to pop up Tylenol and pretty much the, the ID number. So you want to use that DB00 number. Um, and it also gives you a bunch of other information, too, that you might find useful. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go back to glucose. And again, you don't necessarily have to remember it if you just have Oculus Dash. You can just pull this desktop up uh, in VR, which will enable you to, to you know, access these types of databases much easier in VR instead of having to take your headset off. We're going to type it into the loading menu in Nano. So now that we have the ID for glucose, we can press load, PubChem. And the ID for glucose was 5793. Click on enter and load. And now we have glucose in Nanum. So thanks so much for tuning into this week's Nanum Quick Tips. We'll see you next time.